It built 206 kilometers in 12 years and withstood 300 earthquakes. The world's most difficult high-speed railway opens to traffic, foreign media praises, China's miracle. It took 12 years to build the 206-kilometer railway, but the whole world marveled it's impossible. When it comes to China's high-speed rail, what comes to mind is China's speed. For example, the Beijing-Shanghai Railway is 1,318 kilometers long and was built in just three years. However, the total length of China's sichuan qinghai Railway is only 15% of the Beijing-Shanghai Railway, and its construction took four times as long. When the news of the opening of the sichuan qinghai Railway came out, the foreign media, instead of mocking China for being too slow, exclaimed, China has created another miracle. In this video, let us learn more about it. The sichuan qinghai Railway connects Chengdu, Sichuan and Xining, Qinghai, and is an important part of China's 8 vertical and 8 horizontal high-speed railway network. After the entire line is completed and open to traffic, the history of no railways in northwest Sichuan will end. It is only 206 kilometers long, but its difficulty is so high that it challenges the limits of human construction. Public information shows that the landforms of the areas along the sichuan qinghai Railway are complex and changeable. Rolling Hengduan Mountains, plateaus, basins, mountain canyons, river valleys. To build a railway into ABA Prefecture, the line must climb from the Chengdu Plain to the northwest Sichuan Plateau. According to reports, as the first railway in the North Hengduan Mountains of China, the sichuan qinghai Railway has created many national bests in its route selection. It crosses the terrain with the largest gradient difference, and the altitude of the line increases steeply from 500 meters to 2,500 meters. The structural conditions are the most complex, the lithological conditions are the weakest and broken, and problems such as pipe surges, water sprays, soft silt, and rock blocking make every step forward extremely difficult. Not only that, the sichuan qinghai Railway is also the world's first railway to cross the core area of a magnitude 8 earthquake. Crossing active faults 11 times, the accompanying active faults are 170 kilometers long, and it is also the longest line accompanied by active faults in China. Only the section in the strong earthquake zone is full of severe challenges such as frequent aftershocks, loose rock structure, landslides and debris flows, which makes the construction difficulty increase exponentially. Building a railway in such a dangerous and complex landscape is unprecedented in the history of global railway construction. Many road and bridge construction companies in the West, after hearing China's route planning, shook their heads and expressed their inability to do anything. Some experts bluntly said, it is impossible for China to create it. The People of China Infrastructure Construction Adhering to the determination to build roads across mountains and build bridges over rivers, worked hard for 12 years and finally overcame many difficulties and made this railway pass through the mountains and become a lifeline that breaks geographical restrictions. 99% of the entire railway section adopts tunnel design with a maximum burial depth of 1,720 meters. Many tunnels are like giant dragons sneaking into the mountains and finally achieve the magnificent scene of flying halfway up the mountainside. Climbing hills, crossing ridges, crossing mountains, crossing fractures. 60% of the road section is located in plateau terrain, and complex geology has turned into construction obstacles, some of which the builders have never encountered before. The Chinese construction team never imagined that when the Lutongshai Tunnel was about to be completed with 500 meters left, 
it would encounter strong hysteretic geostress and cause a 1.3 kilometer long soft rock deformation. Ground stress cut the arch into a twist shape and the dug hole began to deform and twist, with the amount of deformation reaching 60 centimeters to 1 meter. How to solve the deformation problem? The best solution is to strengthen the support and fixation. The Chinese construction team achieved its goal with equal emphasis on both hands. The first is rapid excavation, which is quickly closed into a ring every 15 meters of excavation, usually 30 meters, so that the phyllite has no chance to oxidize. The second is the innovative use of long and short anchor bolt combination support technology to form a three-layer protection of inner and outer ring arches and linings to improve support strength. Similar technological innovations are found in Yulongmen Tunnel, Pingon Tunnel, and Maosien Tunnel. According to reports, the Sichuan Qinghai Railway is a railway that is being studied and constructed at the same time. The builders have carried out a series of engineering experiments, and the National Railway Group alone has approved 16 projects. Many innovative technologies were born here, providing guidance and reference for China's mountainous railway construction. Eleven crossings of the Sichuan Qinghai railway line were broken. Is it unsafe for the EMU to run on the line? This is the biggest concern for travelers. Starting from Anju, the tunnel ratio of the line reaches 96%, with 127 kilometers of continuous tunnel. This design is based on safety considerations. After the May 12th earthquake in 2008, the design unit did a lot of research and proved that the damage caused by the earthquake to the interior of the tunnel was relatively small. Therefore, the Chinese construction team used a large number of tunnels in the plateau section. Not only that, they adopted a large number of measures to deal with dangerous rockfalls at the tunnel entrance, and all the tunnel entrance improvement measures available in China at that time were used. The innovation of the structure inside the cave is even more groundbreaking. This structure imitates the spine of an animal. First, the segments of the concrete arch are shortened, just like the joints of the animal spine. Wide rubber steel belt deformation seams are added between the segments, just like the cartilage on the spine. Such a structure has both rigidity and toughness, and can withstand a certain degree of distortion and dislocation caused by external forces. Public information shows that since 2014, more than 300 earthquakes of magnitude 3 or above have occurred along the Sichuan Qinghai Railway. Facts have proved that the bridges and tunnels under construction have withstood the test. When the impossible was broken and this world's most difficult high-speed railway was successfully opened to traffic, foreign media exclaimed that China's railway technology has become unimaginable. The Sichuan Qinghai Railway runs from the Chengdu Plain to the northwestern Sichuan Plateau and passes through many mountain ranges such as Longmen Mountain, Min Mountain, and West Qinling Mountains. The geology and landforms along the line are not only complex, but are also environmentally sensitive areas. Among them, the Minshan Mountains are the region with the richest biodiversity in China and the world, and are also the main habitat for rare and endangered species such as China's giant pandas. How to ensure that rare and endangered wild animals are not affected, landscape resources are not damaged, river water sources are not polluted, and the ecological environment is restored? This is another problem faced by designers and builders. First of all, in terms of route design, they avoided the giant panda exchange corridor. They used long tunnels and continuous tunnel groups to harmlessly pass through the habitat to ensure that the animals and the landscape are not affected. 
What if it passes harmlessly? Environmental protection was taken into consideration in every aspect of the construction of this railway. For example, when it is already difficult to dump soil in mountainous areas, the number of slag dumps was optimized from more than 100 to 42 to minimize the damage and impact of engineering activities on the environment. The more than 100-meter line outside the tunnel between Yulongmen Tunnel and Yangjieping Tunnel is located in the giant panda activity area. In order to reduce the impact of high-speed trains on giant pandas, a 5-meter high upgraded sound barrier was specially installed, while ordinary sound barriers are only more than 2 meters. After the opening of the Sichuan Qinghai Railway, it not only became popular throughout the network for its transformation of natural chasms into thoroughfares, but also attracted many foreign tourists to come here for sightseeing. They all sighed, China is really amazing. According to Xinhua News Agency data, in just 10 years from 2012 to 2022, China has built the world's largest high-speed rail network, with the mileage increasing from 9,000 kilometers to 42,000 kilometers. Not only that, China's high-speed rail technology has become a global leader, setting standards for the world. In 2022, China was invited to participate in the revision of the International Union of Railways New Railway Standards and presided over the revision of infrastructure standards and power supply standards. Over the past decade, China has completed one infrastructure myth after another in the field of high-speed rail, creating world-famous achievements such as the Sichuan Qinghai Railway and the Jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway, making high-speed railway a shining business card of China. In addition to high-speed rail, the domestically produced C919 large aircraft successfully flew commercially, and the world's largest solid rocket was successfully launched. Various breakthroughs all show that China has become a veritable world power, and its strength is still growing. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.